I'll start with radial nerve provocation test. I like to do it in this position. I put my patient on an incline to lie diagonally across the bed so the elbow, elbow shoulder is just off the bed. And that way I can control that position of the scapula. For radial and median nerve, I'm not looking at massively depressing the scapula. I just want to position it and I'm feeling for resistance. So I'm gonna feel for activation of upper traps as I put move the arm into a more mechanically sensitive position because often upper traps will activate to try and protect that those you know nerve structures. So in this position, neutral shoulder, I'm now going to internally rotate Josh's shoulder as far as it'll go, pronate the forearm, flex the wrist, and if I can, provide some flexion at those fingers as well. So technically you can go into a full thumb finger flexion and wrist flexion, but often that wind up of the extensor digitorum tendons will limit how much wrist flexion you can get. So it just depends on how sensitive you wanna be or how provocative, how sore. But I often find that just with a bit of wrist flexion, finger flexion, so full wrist flexion, some finger flexion which I can control with my hand position is sufficient to provoke if it's there. So full elbow extension, shoulder internal rotation, full pronation and test in that position or just check, Josh, you're okay, no pain there, nothing, no symptoms. Okay, now what I'm gonna do in that from there is just abduct the shoulder. So it's a really nice controlled test. All I'm doing is abducting the shoulder and I'm looking for resistance. So resistance will come in in the arm in that shoulder abduction. So I start to get some, some resistance there or in upper traps where his shoulder starts to push into my, into my leg. You feel okay there? Now, if say I did reproduce symptoms at that point, I control that position. All I have to do is let go of the scapula, okay? Keep that hand exactly where it is, the arm exactly where it is, and I'm looking for a change in symptoms. So my sensitizing maneuver is my scapular depression and elevation. I don't have to change anything in the arm position, okay? And I would be looking for, if it was a positive test, it would reproduce his symptoms, his pain, and it would ease when I let go of that shoulder position, the scapula.